Smartphone Insider here. Today is a special episode. I have for you a convenience item, this TP-Link LB100 smart light bulb, and a beautiful handcrafted Tiffany-style lamp which we're going to assemble and install with our TP-Link LB100 light bulb. Stay tuned. So today I've got for you a convenience good, a smart light bulb by TP-Link for seamless integration with Amazon Alexa and the Google Assistant, and a handmade Tiffany-style lamp where every piece of the lamp is crafted by hand. I'll be going over some of the features of the light bulb, how it works, and how in just under 10 minutes you can have the LB100 light bulb connected to your smart home for use with our brand new Tiffany-style lamp and Amazon Alexa. To start off, because we bought our light bulb at Amazon.com, and because you cannot buy this particular light bulb at a big box retailer, this makes it a convenience good. If you're interested in a big box good, check out the Hue White A19 LED 60 watt equivalent dimmable smart wireless bulb from Philips, available at Home Depot for $14.97. With an output of 50 watts, the LB100 by TP-Link has an estimated energy cost of 97 cents per year, and since it will work with Amazon Alexa and Google's Google Assistant, no hub is required. This light bulb has a brightness of 600 lumens, making it just the right amount of brightness for our Tiffany-style lamp, which we plan on having in our living room. Let's begin. Before we begin, first make sure Amazon Alexa or Google Home is plugged in, on and connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Lastly, have your smartphone handy, that way we can verify the device is on and connected once we're finished. The requirements for this product are as follows. A mobile device running iOS 8 or higher or Android 4.1 or higher, a Wi-Fi network, and if you so choose, a light switch, just be sure to connect this device to a light switch and not a light dimmer. The dimming feature is saved for our smartphone. Last but not least, the form factor for this light bulb is an A19 bulb with an E26 fitting. Now that we have all the information we need, let's begin the installation process. 1. Download TP-Link CASA from the App Store or Google Play. 2. Connect your mobile device to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Note, the smart bulbs only support the 2.4 GHz networks. 3. Launch CASA and follow the in-app instructions to connect the smart bulb to your home network, which we'll go through now. Our first step of the installation process is to plug in and connect our Samsung SmartThings hub. You do not need a Samsung SmartThings hub in order to pair our TP-Link LB100 to Alexa. However, we'll eventually want to group together items with our Z-Wave to integrate with Alexa, and to do that, we need our hub. One thing you will need to do is create an account with CASA, which you can do within the CASA app. Be sure to do this before we move on to the second step of the installation process, because we'll need it to register the device. Now that you're a registered user with CASA, we can finally add our TP-Link LB100 light bulb, which we have placed in our Tiffany-style lamp. The second step of the installation process is easy. Click on the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner of your screen and select Add a Device from the pop-up menu. Then select Smart Light Bulb LB100 KL100 Series, then click Next. Once you've done this, your light bulb will blink three times. Now, go to your Wi-Fi settings and look for TP-Link. All smart wireless Wi-Fi light bulbs will have their own Wi-Fi network upon initial setup, so once you've selected your light bulb from the list of Wi-Fi networks, all you need to do is go back to the CASA app where, by this time, your device should be connected wirelessly to your Wi-Fi network. No further action is required. You should now be able to control the light remotely. So now that we have our light bulb established over a Wi-Fi network, we can integrate it with Amazon Alexa, or step three. Go to the Amazon Alexa app, select lights, and then scroll down the device list until you find our light. We named our smart light bulb Middle Light since our Tiffany-style lamp is located between two other smart light bulbs. If you don't see your light bulb listed, in Devices, click on the plus sign in the upper left-hand corner, select CASA, then click on Discover Devices. Alexa will take about 20 seconds to search for other devices. Once your device is found, you can add it. Now, you're probably wondering, why do we need the CASA app when our TP-Link LB100 smart light bulb can connect directly with Amazon's Alexa? The answer is because each smart light bulb has to be registered. TP-Link ships each light bulb with a two-year warranty along with 24-7 technical support. Since we want to take advantage of this, and because we cannot proceed without it, 
we need to become a CASA member. Last but not least, activate Amazon Alexa to see if your light bulb works. Now that we've got our TP-Link light bulb out of the box and connected to Alexa, we have Alexa connected and following instructions. And last but not least, we have our TP-Link LB100 working with the beautiful Tiffany style lamp we assembled earlier. All of these processes are done, but not too quickly to ensure that we have not only a smart home, but a safe home. Stay tuned for the next episode where we connect our Go Control home security system to our smart hub we set up at the beginning of the installation process. My name is John. The TP-Link LB100 smart light bulb is a convenience good. You're watching Smartphone Insider.